Hi, so just a quick video to demonstrate the capabilities and the features of the Bauma OADM laser triangulation distance sensors. So these are miniature versions of the sensor. You can see quite small in dimensions in comparison to laser distance sensors out in the market. So this version here is the OADM 13. Uh, this version here has a current output. We also do uh, voltage outputs. So this gives 4 to 20 milliamps. We have also voltage versions that give 0 to 10 volts and various ranges from as small as uh, 26 mil uh, measuring range all the way up to 550 mil measuring range. Uh, this sensor here that I'll be showing you has a line beam spot. We also have point beam spot versions of the sensor. So even for such a basic uh, analog output sensor, which is still plenty of call for in the market, although there's been lots of call for ethernet based solutions or digital based output solutions, maybe RS232, 485, or ethernet communications or IOLink, there's still a lot of call for analog type sensors out in the market for simple cost-effective but accurate measurement. And this sensor here, with its analog output, for example, has a range of 50 to 550 mil. It has a resolution at best down to 0 0.01 millimeters and also a uh, linearity error of down to plus or minus 0 0.08 millimeters. So you can tell a very accurate type sensor with an analog output. So straight out of the box, the OADM13 sensor has a working range of 50 mil to 550 mil. You can see the nice line beam spot that we have here on this version. There are point beam spots uh, versions available also. But you can see this is a current output version, giving us 20 milliamps all the way down to four milliamps. So a nice linear output response from there. Again, if I used a uh, different target, you see you get the same sort of result. So with this type of sensor, you have the capability to scale the distance uh, with the analog. So you can set the four to 20 milliamp or the zero to 10 volts output anywhere across this range uh, to shorten it to your needs. So I'll just quickly show you the setup of that. You can do it via the button on the back of the sensor here to get the sensor into teach mode, or you can use the external input wire. For this, I'm going to use the external input wire just because it's easier to demonstrate, but both are just as easy to implement. Okay, so first of all, let's set uh, our position here as our zero point and zero milliamps. Uh, you can do this uh, vice versa. So the first uh, distance that you teach, whether it's the close or the far, will be the smaller analog output. So in this case, the four milliamps, or if the voltage version, the zero volts. So we go into teach, two, three, four, five. We then are able to set our zero point. So we press teach. Then we can introduce our target or the height that we wish to scale the analog over and press teach again. It thinks about it and there we go. So you can see now at this height, the output is 20 milliamps and then 
at the table or where I set my reference point, the sensor now gives out the four milliamp signal. And so as I move up and down between those distances, I get a nice analog linear output on distance. So that's that four to 20 milliamp. And again, if you want the four milliamps here, you just teach that distance first and then teach the far away distance second and that will flip it from 4 to 20 milliamps to 4 to 20 milliamps.